Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. Uh, recently I did a, a quick video comparing the Helios Nitro Sport against the Hawk Endurance ED. Um, that was more about um, customers' feedback from uh, a couple of purchases they made at our optics weekend. But in reality that's a bit of a unfair comparison. So I thought I'd set up two sets of binoculars here and you might think they're exactly the same. Until you turn them round, so we have the Helios Nitro Sport 8x26 and 10x26. And so which one of these should you go for? And at the end of the video I'll let you know which is our best seller. And uh, if this helps make, you, make up your mind which one is suitable for you, by all means uh, you can purchase from the link below. Or better still, come and see me at my next optics weekend. So, I'm not going to say which I think is the best out of the two, I'll just say the differences and you make up your own mind. So, we have these two sets of binoculars, they both look very similar, there are slight change, uh, minor changes between the two. Um, they're both 266 grams, they both have the same polycarbonate body and other than some minor differences, look pretty much the same. So, right, stop babbling on. So we have the 10 times 26 and 8 times 26. So you have 10 magnification with a 26 mm objective lens, 8 magnification with a 26 mm object lens as well. So obviously the advantage of the 10 times, if for example you're looking at things further afield, further afield uh, wildlife, or even looking at ships out at sea, or, or planes going by, and obviously your higher magnification will give you a slight advantage over the eight times. This advantage of the uh, ten times, and as you can just see here, 98 meters at a thousand. That means at a thousand meters away you can see 98 meters wide. Moving on to the eight times, 190 meters at a thousand. So at a thousand meters away you see 119 meters wide from edge to edge and so obviously your eight times then give you the wider field of view so you have more magnification with the ten times but a wider field of view with the eight times and with the lower magnification you also get a slightly uh, larger depth of field and so uh, you don't have to focus as much handling they are both exactly the same with silky smooth focus wheels there the specification shows as around 5 metres at close focus for the 10 times. And the specification, if you look at on the website or in the book, um, in, the, in the optical vision brochure, it says 5.5 metres. But I have tested the 8 times on, on a regular occasion every time I get fresh stocking. And believe me, Forget that five and a half meters, the close focus is around about one and a half meters or below. So bear that in mind. So if you like looking at uh, butterflies and bugs um, in the foliage nearby you as you walk by, the eight times definitely has that advantage. Uh, another slight advantage it has, I don't know if, you, oh you can see, there we are, um, the exit pupil. And that is the exit pupil is that white light you can see through each lens and that, that always stays the same and to work out the exit pupil you will say 26 divided by 8 which is just over 3 so that is just over 3 millimeters uh, wide that exit pupil 10 times 26 tens into 20 uh, into 26 two and a half millimeters and so that's a small exit pupil so that means in lower light conditions the eight times will give you slightly better reach into the shadows but it, it's very very minimal um, so so far the eight times is getting more ticks than the ten but but then again if all you're interested in looking at is objects further afield then that that is all that matters to you the higher magnification um, so the eye the eyepieces 
looking again at this, I don't know if you can quite see, um, slightly larger with the eight times to the ten times. So that, that might make lining up with your eyes a little bit easier. And so I'm going to turn them to the side now here and twist the eye cups out. Straight away you can see the eight times at the bottom comes out a little bit further. So the, let's just check the specifications, the ten times has 14 millimeters eye relief. I checked with my glasses on with the eye cups twisted all the way down and they are very nice quality eye cups these by the way. One, so one, two, three clicks for the ten times. I could almost get full view with my spectacles on. With the slightly longer eye relief, 16 millimeters of the eight times, I found yes, I could get the full view. Only just, but I could get the full view with the eye cups twisted down. So that's one, two, three clicks again. So that is another advantage for the eight times. So, so put these back in. So that is a a quick look at the eight and ten times Helios Niger Sport. And uh, yes, they both come in the same case. They come with the same padded strap and the same strap for the um, the case itself. Um, the I haven't got the objective lenses covers on here, like, but these are these are, are uh, drop down ones that you can clip on, and it is an all in one um, lens cover for the eyepieces. So that the class is waterproof. So I believe the nitrogen gas filled. Uh, polycarbonate bodies rather than magnesium alloy. They are uh, silver coated prisms and I know the it's the I believe the 42 mm, 42 millimeter versions um, are, are face corrected but not the smaller 26 and, third, and uh, 34 millimeter options. Um, so I'm not going to say which is my personal favorite but which one sells best at our optics weekends and you're welcome to come along and meet me one one day it's the eight times the main reason why people go for the eight magnification is the wider field of view makes it easier to track birds in flight and to focus on them with the larger depth of field but obviously if if you're thinking no you would rather look at more distant objects then the 10 times 26 is also an equally equally impressive uh, compact uh, binocular and excellent value for money so i hope that helps and uh, thank you very much for watching as always and please check out the link in the description below